please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Multithreading is a powerful concept in programming that allows concurrent execution of multiple threads within a single process. Python provides a threading module to implement threads, but there's a common misconception that threads terminate automatically when the main program completes. In reality, threads might not terminate as expected, leading to potential issues. This tutorial aims to clarify the life cycle of Python threads and demonstrate why threads may not terminate as anticipated. Understanding the life cycle of a thread is crucial for managing threads effectively. The typical thread life cycle includes the following states. New, a thread is in the state when it is created but not yet started. Runnable slash waiting, the thread is ready to run or is waiting for a resource to become available. Running, the thread is currently executing its code. Blocked, the thread is waiting for a resource or event to proceed. Terminated slash dead, the thread has completed its execution or has been explicitly stopped. In Python, threads are divided into two types, demonic and non-demonic. Demonic threads are considered as background threads, and they terminate when the main program exits. Non-demonic threads, on the other hand, continue to run even after the main program completes. If there are non-demonic threads still running, the program won't exit. In this example, the daemon thread will terminate when the main program completes. If a thread is stuck in an infinite loop or is waiting indefinitely for a resource, it won't terminate even if the main program finishes. In this case, the infinite thread will keep running, preventing the program from terminating. To ensure threads terminate as expected, follow these best practices. Use demonic threads wisely. If a thread is intended to be a background task that doesn't need to complete its execution, set it as a demonic thread. Graceful termination. Implement a mechanism for threads to gracefully terminate, especially if they are involved in long-running tasks. For example, use flags or events to signal threads to exit. Avoid infinite loops. Be cautious with loops that may run indefinitely. Ensure that threads have a clear termination condition to exit the loop. Join threads. Use the join method to wait for threads to complete before the program exits. This ensures that the main program doesn't exit prematurely. The join method blocks the program until the thread being joined completes its execution. Understanding the life cycle of Python threads and potential reasons for threads not terminating is essential for writing robust multi-threaded programs. By following best practices and using appropriate thread management techniques, you can ensure that your threads behave as expected, leading to a well-behaved and reliable multi-threaded application. ChatGPT